Hello, my friends. Well, I expected to talk to you today all about my beach visit with Matthew and Cindy and the kids on the kids' birthdays on Saturday, but it didn't happen. I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the collagen. I did just a little tiny bit in the last video about my collagen coffee every morning and I'm so excited about it. This is my almost a week every morning, I think it's the sixth day, that I have taken my collagen in the morning and I know that I will not forget this, that it will be part of my everyday routine because there's no way I would ever skip my coffee in the morning and I have this uh, jar of collagen supplement powder right next to the coffee machine and honestly when I put it in my cup after I drip my hazelnut coffee, I always have a flavored coffee uh, in my Keurig machine, I put two scoops, that's the recommended dose. Most of these collagens, that's what they recommend. They have the little spoon in there and I think it's a tablespoon. Two spoonfuls, little cupfuls of this. The minute it goes into your coffee, it dissolves. When I put the spoon in there, I don't even see anything. I do mix it anyway, but I don't ever see anything. And and then I put my, um, <clears throat> my whipped cream. It's that keto approved cream that I've used for, well, 40 years now. I just have that big lump of cream in my coffee ever since we lived in Scotland. And have I noticed a difference? Well, you're not supposed to at all, but I have a couple of indicators in my body. I'm hoping, number one, that it will lessen my flare-ups of, um, of hip arthritis that I get from time to time, my knee arthritis. I've fallen um, in the last three years, seven or eight times. And um, some of my joints have suffered a little, not badly, but they're flare-ups and I've started to get some arthritis in my hands. And I have one indicator, and I'm not gonna put that finger up because it's a bad finger, but it's my middle finger on this hand that have pretty much has pain all the time in this joint up here. And this is the finger that I use for a lot of things, believe it or not, but more particularly, the, the button on the Keurig machine is the one I always use this finger to push. And you know what? The last two days, it has not been painful to push. I've such a tiny thing, but I'm not saying anything at all because I'm not gonna tell you that results are within one week, but I'm hoping it's going to affect that. I hope that it will keep the elastin in my face, make my skin softer. And so I've been doing my nails, giving them a little bit of a touch up because Saturday morning, it's been so hot here again. We're in the middle of a, another heat wave. I knew that we would be going down to the Waterfront Hotel in Huntington Beach in the afternoon. It was going to be late afternoon. And I knew we probably had to valet the car. So you know my van, it's always filled with stuff. And <laughs> I was embarrassed, literally, to pull in. My van is 10 years old. I'm not a car person. I just love it, number one, because I can carry grandkids lots around for little outings. And, and also I can put stuff in it, like that piece of furniture that was in there for almost three weeks. So I knew I had to get that out because I thought, what would these people think of this lady coming in with this car? First of all, <laughs> the windshield I was from the birds. I don't have a garage, so it does sit out. And, and the car had was was filthy. But I had filled up gas, so I didn't have a, a time for a car wash. So I was out there in the heat in the morning, washing all the windows and then getting some of the bird droppings off the outside of the car. I had to wash off the wheelchair uh, because we, we obviously had, would have been too much of a walk for Moose to walk around to the pool and everything down there. So, it, it, my nails got wrecked out as usual from all the rigmarole. But anyway, we didn't go down because as it turned out, when Matthew got down there, they, they didn't plan to get down there until uh, mid-afternoon anyway. And evidently, because there was a surfing, every year they have a big surf marathon 
going on for one week in Huntington Beach and the crowds from all over uh, the United States, I guess, are terrible. And <clears throat> the pool was jammed with people. So they, they just didn't think it would be a fun experience and they thought it would probably be probably too much for Moose and I. So to make a long story short, I didn't get to wiggle my piggies in the sand or in the water, <clears throat> but I'm sure that will come in September or October. Mikey still says we're going to go up the coast to that little place. And um, so we're, we're going to uh, today or tomorrow, we're going to maybe go to Shakey's Pizza and have a little party because I still have something for the kids. And we have the wedding coming up on Thursday. It's a busy, busy week. And then next Saturday, there's another birthday party for three, two of Dubby's grandkids and um, little McKinley and Jackson. I think they're gonna be seven and eight or six and eight. So it's a busy, busy week. Fun. I chose this one um, only because it was a trial size and I wanted to see how it worked. Absolutely love it. There is no taste in it at all. Um, I wanted it for my, my pain and joints. It's supposed to work on bones and joints and skin. Nails, it's supposed to make your nails stronger, hair growth, and um, of course the elastin. It's pure protein, which is what we need. Now the other thing that I have learned <clears throat> that you do need vitamin C along with the collagen powder in order to make it do its thing. And I do have a jar of, um, of uh, vitamin C gummies that we've been taking during COVID. And I take those every day. I don't know whether it's a thousand milligrams or what it is, but it's a, it's a sufficient dose. And um, I can't take the big giant pills, so I take the gummy. But vitamin C is something you're supposed to take along with this. Now there are several top rated collagen powders. I'm not pushing this. It's not sponsored at all. <clears throat> this ranks in the top three whenever I look at um, people reviewing them. And there's one man on there. His name is Keto JT, two initials. If you want to read, he reviews all these different collagen powders. And I always want to make sure it's not sponsored videos because I want it to be something that he knows about. He's been taking collagen. He can tell you all the things. His hair is growing. His nails are stronger. Um, he'll talk all about that. There are many other people that will give you good reviews. And as you know, from what we've heard now, uh, collagen in a jar, you, if you can't put it on your cream, it's too big a molecule to go through the skin. You have to take it in the form of powders. Now, another, I think, someone who is probably knows a lot about collagen powder is my friend, Monica. I know you know Monica and I'll put her name under here, but she and her husband both have been taking collagen for a long time and she will tell you more about the effects of collagen. She wouldn't miss a day. So many people, Costco is starting to have these giant big places where they're stacking Costco. You can buy it on Amazon. I bought mine on amazon.com. I'm taking my collagen and it is something that will work quickly within weeks, within months. I don't want something that's going to show up a year from now or two years. I don't have that time left and I want, I want to see some improvement now. Now here's the cute telephone, the British telephone kiosk. And it was filled up yesterday. Can you see the, the feed comes down and then the birds sit on the ledge. Isn't that the cutest little thing? And they're, they're loving it. I think they love looking at themselves in the window too. So those are Moosey's Christmas presents. <laughs> cute. Yeah, they're cute they're little birds. You know, these were from a catalog. I'm going to show you these birds one up close. Can you see them? They're wooden. Um, there's a little pink bird. <laughs> now those are not these birds chirping. That's another bird out there. Yellow and black and oh my gosh, there are some cute birdies here. And I think this is darling. And this is the place where we thought Moose might enjoy it because it's pretty. And these are the little bells, like a little stone here. And then here, hear it? 
the legend about the silent bell, you know. What do you think of your new little um, chime, your birdie chime, and the new bird feeder? You know, you had these, it's almost like a pop quiz. quiz. I'm expected to make a cameo appearance, but I don't know what the subject is. Say something wise and intense. Remember, I remember the, if we were cutting up in high school, and the professor would enter and he would say, silencio nunc, which meant, shut the hell up, you know? And if we didn't, then he'd warn us. Verbum sapientia satis est. Oh my gosh. All I'm asking now, you is, I bought you two nice little presents. Okay. And all I want is your opinion on two little things that I bought in my heart because I thought you would enjoy them. And we also decided that there's no sense waiting for birthdays and Christmas anymore. Mm -hmm. That when you see something you like and you want to give it to someone because you think they'll enjoy it, you do it right then and there. So. Verbum satis says. Yeah, so, so <laughs> verbum for us all and tell us what you think. Well, you know the funny thing, I can shake this. I get the chimes. And the new one is, is birds, canaries, and gosh knows what. They're beautiful. Okay, they're really, they have little bells on the bottom and they really don't make too much of a sound. Um, even in a big breeze, maybe they will make a little bell. They, they have little bells on the bottom. But I thought they were the cutest little things and because you love birdies so much, you oh, would yes. enjoy them. Yeah. Yeah. And what about that? Oh, the telephone booth. That was that's an English or British telephone booth that they have on the streets, and that was filled up with feed yesterday oh. morning. Yes, yeah, it says. And side assessed. It's enough. It was filled enough. Got it. Is this a Latin um, quiz. tutorial it's a quiz. here today? Yeah, it's a quiz. <laughs> um, and that's it. It's half gone, so they must like that. I think so. The other funny thing is, because there's glass windows in it, they land on it and they look and they see themselves. They go, whoops. Oops. It's true. I like it too because it has a nice square um, resting place for Platform, the birds yeah. to sit there. My theory is at this point in our life, why wait when you see something that right. you think will give someone some joy? Give it to them right then and there. So, right. Merry Christmas, Moose. Does that mean I don't get any Christmas presents? <laughs> Maybe you'll be getting them in the summer. Who knows? But oh, thank you. <laughs> now, let me fix your hat. Lean over here. You got some things hanging down here. I don't know what you did with this. But. Now I did order quite a few things within the past two weeks on Amazon and I'm going to show you some of the ones that I've ordered. They're all amazon.com except for the, um, I did, I'll tell you the name of the catalog that I got the uh, Bird Chime and Moosey's British Kiosk Bird Feeder. I find myself talking too fast because I have so much that I wanted to get into this video. I might have to wait <clears throat> on some of the different things that I've ordered on Amazon because I do want to share with you what I was doing most of the weekend besides watching off the car and bringing in the, the furniture. Brendan, by the way, did help me bring in that piece of furniture. It's a whole piece and I have it down by the front door, but show you that another time. I did want to show you, I've finished my wedding outfit and I guess I'll model it at the wedding <laughs> and show it to you then with all the outfits of all the other girls. That will be a fun thing to do besides Jenny, the beautiful bride and all the little tiny flower girls and junior bridesmaids. But I did finally put in um, the elastic. As I told you, I did buy a jumpsuit for the garden a couple of months ago. And I love my garden jumpsuits, but I didn't like the way this one fit. First of all, it was more of a dressy uh, fabric. It, it didn't fit on the top. It was too loose, the crotch was too low. So I cut the bib off and I will show you what I'm doing with the bib. And I cut it to make pants 
And they're so beautiful because I think I showed you what the bottom of these pants look like. Now look at these, they're sort of palazzo style and they have, I'm gonna put this over my shoulder here. They have these beautiful flowers, look at this, all the way on the bottom of the legs. And they go up about two feet. They're a soft, beautiful white fabric. And I love the green colors and everything in them. They look just like a garden growing on the pants. So I'm going to wear these to the wedding. And I did order a beautiful satin shirt. And I knew it had to be green to match. Let me put this here. I knew it had to be green to match the flower garden on the bottom of the pants. Will you look at this shirt? Isn't this beautiful? Look at the shine on it. It has a slight um, sort of a stripe in it that you can hardly see. It only shows when you move back and forth. The sleeves are beautiful. Those, These are those lantern type sleeves that are fuller at the bottom. They have a beautiful cuff and you can push it up or down. It buttons down the front, and I think I'm going to leave it buttoned. It, originally, I thought I'd leave it open with a, a fancy tank underneath, but I just love this. And the green looks so beautiful with the pants. And I also ordered, now these are some of the pieces that I'll wear. You know me, more is better, so I'll probably wear these. Maybe some pearls, long pearls too, I haven't decided, but I did, also order this and it's abalone and it's a beautiful piece. I do have some abalone jewelry. I don't know whether you can see it. It has the blues and the greens and the beautiful colors in here of the abalone shell. I do have some abalone earrings and a bracelet too that I might wear, but this looks so fabulous with this. Isn't this gorgeous? Won't it make a beautiful outfit? Now, I really don't have time to model it today, but you will see it on me in the next video. I will put the name, this came by the way, in two or three days, the shirt, and absolutely love it. Look at the way that shines. Isn't it a pretty shirt? So remember I said I was going to make some kind of pinafore or, or an apron with what was left and I've already started that, couldn't wait to see. Now, I haven't I've pinned some of these on. Remember the fabric that I bought at Hobby Lobby? Well, I've sewn one ruffle, I made some ruffles, and this is the bib that was left. I had to, it was too wide and floppy, has a butterfly on it, and I'm going to make both of these. This one I experimented, and I've decided I am making it go up over the straps and down in the back. Now the back is also a bib and I will make, um, I will bring more of another ruffle all the way down, just like I did in the front. And then on the bottom, now this will go here and then this hits halfway between the bust and the waist. And I have the other fabric that I bought which is a cute little blue and white check. And I will make a big gathered skirt, maybe down to the knees or something with maybe open in the back or closed or something, haven't decided yet. So that's what I did with the other half of the overalls. And that's what I did on Sunday. My hairdo today is one I've tried before and I did put, I, you know, I love the shine that my hair mask um, put on my hair last week. But you know, when I use the dry shampoo, it sort of takes the shine away. So I do have this little something that I'll show you. It's in the bathroom. I've had it for a while and it's a dry hair oil. And I'm hoping that maybe that will bring a little bit more of a sheen back to the hair. I haven't been experimenting with too many other ones, but, um, but so far, I think this is this one is good for the summer. And my jewelry is something that I've had these earrings, I'll bet 30 years, and I'm starting maybe to break out a little bit of the gold now. Also the rings. And this one I might've had for a long time too. It has a beautiful, um, oh, what's the name of that stone? It's my birthstone. I can't remember the name of the stone. And this I think was a thrift ring. And this was one of my thrift cuffs.
You know, I just have to mention the fact that the responses that you women are giving me on the videos, especially the last one, where I asked you to think about some things that you do or that you love that make your life beautiful. Just small little things that come from the senses, things that you hear or see or touch or smell. And, and all of you came up with the most beautiful little things that you consciously recognize in your lives that make your life so beautiful, simple little things. And I love, we all love the clean sheets. A lot of you love the birds and the little babies laughing, but some of you came up with so many. I wish I could mention all of your names. Please know, in fact, this time I had Moosey come into the bed and we sat for more than an hour reading your comments. I wanted him to appreciate the beautiful sentiments that you all have when you respond to our videos. And I thank you so much. I love the way all of you are reaching out to other women. We're becoming a support system for each other here. So thank you so much. You know, I just can't say everything that I wanna say to each one of you, but know that I read every single one and I am just in awe of all of you. I love you all so much. Thank you for enjoying our channel. Those of you who are new, thank you for subscribing and commenting. And those of you who are just joining us or just watching, think about subscribing and coming along on our journey with us. So bye for now. So much to say. I'll have to tell you about some of the other things that I ordered on Amazon in the next video. And of course, probably the next video won't be coming out. What's, what's today? I'll probably put one out Thursday. But after that, because of the wedding and because we'll be staying in San Diego, I don't think I'll be able to uh, get one out till maybe Sunday. So thank you all once again. I love you all. Bye for now. God bless us all.